horror at the University of Virginia after a suspected student gunman opened fire, killing three members of the football team. During a 12-hour manhunt, students sheltered in place, and then there was this dramatic moment right in the middle of a press conference came word that the suspect was in custody. Les Trent is there. It's the dramatic moment the University of Virginia police chief was told the accused shooter had been captured. Thank you, Captain. We just received information the suspect is in custody. It was the end of a tense manhunt for 23-year-old Christopher Darnell Jones, accused of killing three members of the football team and wounding two other students. Just need a moment to thank God. <laughs> Jones was on a field trip with other students to Washington, D.C. After seeing a play, they all sat down together to have a meal, then returned to campus on a chartered bus. That's when Jones allegedly started shooting. I was studying for a genetics exam in my room and I just heard three gunshots. You know, I couldn't tell if it was like a pothole or something, but I was like, looked to my friend and said, do you think that was gunfire? And then we heard three more. I have two people shot, one person at the UVA box office and one person at the Cobra garage shot in his chest. As the bus was being towed away today, you could see a bullet hole in a window. The three dead students were all football stars. Wide receiver Devin Chandler, six foot seven Lavelle Davis, had a shot at playing in the NFL. Linebacker Deshaun Perry from Miami is number 41. Another football player, running back Mike Hollins, was wounded. The accused shooter is also a former member of the football team. He was recruited in his freshman year, but never played. As the hunt continued, the entire campus of 22,000 students was in lockdown. Hundreds spent the night in this crowded basement gym, sleeping where they could. We've been in lockdown for 11 hours. Most of us are exhausted and hungry, one of them posted. University President James Ryan spoke out today. This is an unimaginably sad day for our community. Authorities say UVA's threat assessment team had been made aware of the suspect twice before, once when he allegedly told someone he owned a gun, another time during a hazing investigation, it was closed for lack of witnesses coming forward.